Hello everyone, Lord A. John here, back with another Grey Goo replay. It's been a while since my last replay. I had some things that come up, I don't really want to talk about it. But it's glad to, I'm glad to be back about a month and a half later with whoa a Grey Goo replay. I think I already said that. <laughs> Either way, we got a Shroud versus Goo, and let me just cover this engagement because apparently I fast forward a little bit too far. Do we got five drovers overwhelming a single uh, Clasher? I always forget. Still, like, since I haven't really cast Shroud that much, I don't really know the names of the back of off on the top of my head. And, wait, did even a Clasher go down? Clasher's a pretty tanky unit. It's even more clink that. Gonna say clanky. Tanky as a Trident. They do have less damage but higher rate of fire. Th as a fire rate of fire of 0.3, so they do have even higher rate of fire than a commando. These clash are trying to stutter step away. This one's severely damaged, 8 health, so one shot from a strider will kill it, two from a drover. And I'll probably introduce the player. The Goo player is Elfire, and the uh, Shroud player is Falkski. I think that's how you say it. Do you got Hallower? It was basically a short range howitzer, fires basically grenades, does area effect damage. Do you have a uh, zenith up, the aircraft production? Ooh, a plasma spike, just for the early defense. And it does uh, have one amplify boost, which does increase damage. I don't really. Yeah, basically put, since I haven't cast for a while, I do not remember exactly everything offhand. Extractor going into. Wait, was there health at 500? I thought they were like at something more than 500. 500 is actually not a lot of health compared to like other extractors, if I remember correctly. Plasma Spike does have a good amount of range, and uh, since it's one amplified, it does. I do believe it does gain. Wait, here we go. At two amplified spike, it does gain the damage over time, and. Endures the, even the if the target leaves flames. Basically applies some sort of poison. I'm not so sure if it's like some sort of burning damage. But honestly, for like a blue stream like that, I would assume it's poison. Do got this uh, observer, the chime. And it really does make a chime sound when you move it around. This uh, forward mother goose here is like a forward operating base. And right now, the Shroud player, though he doesn't really have enough resources to expand out, he is starting to be put in that dangerous contained by the Goo player. What? Was there some sort of... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think maybe one of them is actually a bit tired. I was skipping to the video to where it gets a bit more of the better parts than having everybody sit through like the three minutes, four minutes of eco or beginning production. We do have a mock here, a suicide unit does pretty good amount of damage. It's good to help hold away off the early attacks because it has a pretty good area damage and you're probably going to lose that amount of units so might as well be a suicide unit to get it over quickly before they do any damage. If that makes any sense. Do you got a forward operating base coming out? Uh, amplifier and advent. We could maybe see another advent. Yes, we will. I don't think that's actually in range. Clashers engaging. Oh, we got extractor here. We do got the mother goo being pulled off the line to engage. All these buildings are still producing, so he might just need to sell off these buildings. This advent has already come online. The units do have quite a bit of production time. He needs reinforcements now before they actually can to protect this. The extractor's going to try to run away. It is being chased down by striders. He's trying to disable, destroy this amplifier before it turns into a plasma spike. We do got both the advents are now producing. And this extractor was only like clicked to here, not clicked to like the edge of the map to fully run away, so it does get picked off. And losing an extractor and all this production 
is a huge investment loss. I don't think it's actually recoverable now. He's still on three uh, extractor, or whatever the equivalent's called for the. Uh, is it still called extractor for each faction? Yes, it is. But he needs. He is down by more than 50% economy. It does not look good. The goo player will now start to run away with its production and pretty much a chance of he needs to expand to here he needs to expand to here and secure perhaps at least the uh, entrances perhaps if with units or with turrets there's three entrances he is going to uh, build an advent and two amplifiers here one of the amplifiers is definitely going to be a turret chime is scouting out did spot those two uh, radiants but that's pretty much nothing. We are going to see the Corrosive Pool by Crescent, which will give them damage over time. What was it the heal? It was the heal, not the... Sorry, it does damage over time. Jeez, it's been a long time since the last cast of replay. Plasma Spike coming up. The other amplifier is not going to be changed. It's going to be used for the production. Chime did spot out these units. Echoes come in. They're basically they are the tanks of the. Uh, wait. Wait. I thought these guys were the tanks. What was that? Am I completely going insane? Cause did they change these units the last time I play the game? I could just want these guys run into melee and then like did like a shotgun effect. Maybe that's a different unit I'm thinking about. Cause it it has been a long time since I last played. And those guys just seem like they just disappeared and made it those projectiles, whatever they are. So I'm not exactly sure. I don't recognize this unit. Are these just landmines? I guess so. We do have the We do have the uh, extractors gain ore, increase armor and heal over time and units around it. Count as one stack of networked armor. For those who get the network armor ability. Oh wait. These are the AA units, aren't they? By the way. Got a pretty size engagement here. Those two shots went behind. Overall, there's just way too much force uh, shroud here. These units are very tanky. They're more than one one engagement for the goo player. He does manage to pull back the Tempest. Very nice. And yeah, I don't know why I was thinking. The Echoes create a slow feel when the projectile lands or reduces movement speed in its area. Yeah, I must have gone completely insane because I could have sworn that was a tank unit. Yeah, if this game's pretty much over, 10 mother goos. He has run away. Elfire has run away with the game. A large amount of crescent shots just came in. Doing damage to the building, but seeing as 10 armor doesn't really do that much. You got these fuses that when a unit dies with their effect, they Kodas will spawn and start attacking. Kodas they don't do much damage, but they can tank additional shots. Actually they do 9 damage, they're just not very durable. But the, addition, the additional uh, shots is always very nice to take. Using the Crescents to heal. Yeah, the Echoes are the artillery unit. I don't know why I thought they were the tank unit. They don't really do that much damage. Oh, only 5 damage. They just really just don't do much damage. 5 damage, rate of fire of 1. 
I guess that slow ability makes him much more utility, but they just don't really do much damage. And that is a lot of... Who is that pesky purger? He actually does not have building. Do you got the a clasher with a shield from? Well, it's the extractor, the stacked armor. That's what I'm thinking about. The shield is. I don't know why I was thinking like StarCraft Two, like shield. Actually, I was thinking more like here's a store. I'm playing Tassadar, putting shield on everything. No more chimes for. Right there. Yep, that didn't look good. This is a lot of artillery. We bring in the artillery! I think that's putting a bit too uh, dramatic. Yep, this is pretty much the end of the replay. There's just enough artillery to decimate bases. Though goo artillery is not exactly great versus uh, structures to the large fact that they have armor and they do damage over time, each each take affected by armor. Because their weapon penetration is zero. At least he's sort of on point with his micro, but he just doesn't have enough front line. That's his problem with his army, he doesn't have front line. He needs a frontline army to actually con break the contain. I'm just going to fast. No, you can't. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. You got the next engagement. The uh, extractor is coming forward. Well, coming under siege. Massive barrage of artillery here. Doing significant amount of damage. These guys escaped the pool. It's really how sad, uh, how little damage, uh, Crescents do to buildings. With all this artillery, it should have wiped out buildings if it was any other, uh, faction. Because look, all those artillery shots only do about 100 damage. We got some mocks coming in. There are a lot of suicide units, but only one go actually splashes down. That area was also destroyed, but he lost all quite a bit of production. That's the end of the replay. We've got the proto purger on the wave, probably just recently started. Approaching that tiny army. <laughs> tiny army. <laughs> yeah, at least they kept in good humor to the end of the replay. It had some good moments, but losing this uh, Ford operating base here pretty much was the end of the game. Oh wait, those are gone also. Here we go, Klaxon. Those are the tank units. Why am I such an idiot? Echoes of the artillery and Klaxons are the uh, main brawler tank units. Yep, that armor. My game keeps freezing. Either way, this is Lord Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.